National Gallery in London, and we're looking at a really large, really important Renaissance painting, an artist who is Venetian, known simply as Titian. Tiziano, in Italian. That's right. So this is... Bacchus and Ariadne. And it tells the story of Ariadne, whose love, Theseus, had just left her on the island of Naxos. He abandoned her. You can see his ship just on the horizon, on the extreme left, to the left of her shoulder. And Bacchus, who's been riding in a chariot led by two cheetahs. (laughs) Bacchus, the god of wine and intoxication, followed by his revelers kind of emerge in a diagonal, coming forward into the foreground. Bacchus leaps out of his chariot and apparently love at first sight. He's intoxicated with Ariadne. She's initially a little frightened of him, but promises to turn her into a constellation. Which you can see above her head in the upper left of the canvas, that group, that almost halo of eight stars. Her pose is really complicated. Presumably she had just been mourning the loss of her lover and is turned and transfixed by his gaze and he is full of energy as he literally flies out of the chariot that drape just wild behind him and his foot supported by nothing suspended in midair and feel his weight as it just flies over the edge of that chariot yeah i'm struck as i continue to look by the ways that each figure embodies two opposing actions ariadne moves forward, but also turns to the right. He lurches forward toward Ariadne, but also his arms move back while his head and shoulders move forward. They were both involved in doing something else and had been so drawn to each other so unexpectedly that their hands, their arms are still tracing their previous Actions. intention. Yeah. I mean, even the figure in the foreground, this Bacchic reveler that we see, who's entwined with snakes, rather reminiscent of the Laocoon, the ancient Greek sculpture, even he is doing two things at one time with his body, right? He seems to be sort of reaching back, moving forward. There's all of these conflicting movements to the bodies of the figures. This was a painting that was originally created for one of the members of the Desti family in Ferrara. It would have hung in their palace. And it speaks to a man who wanted to express his knowledge of antiquity and, of course, to also be a great patron of the Renaissance. We see that thing that we know Venice for, which is the use of color. Those blues, the reds, the pinks, the greens. Brilliant colors, absolutely. Yeah, amazing. With with a kind of prismatic, almost gem-like quality, a result of his glazing technique. And the browns and sort of earth tones on the right corner with the Bacchic revelers, compared with the clarity of those blues and reds on the left. Not only the contrast of, of sort of actions of the figures, not only in the contrast of colors, as you pointed out, but also in the purity of the love that's expressed between those two figures, or at least Bacchus's love of Ariadne, and then the, just the partying that's going on <laughs> on the right. It's yeah? true. Um, sort it's of just, animal behavior on the right. Yeah, absolutely.